could my fondness for these materials have anything to do with the fact that I'm chiefly made up of them? Are we carbon and water based because these materials were abundant on the early earth, the time of the origin of life? Might life elsewhere be based on different stuff? I'm a collection of organic molecules called Carl Sagan. You're a collection of almost identical molecules with a different collective label. But is that all? Is there nothing in here but molecules? Some people find that idea somehow demeaning to human dignity. But for myself, I find it elevating and exhilarating to discover that we live in a universe which permits the evolution of molecular machines as intricate and subtle as we. The essence of life is not so much the atoms and small molecules that go into us as the way, the ordering, the way those molecules are put together. Now, we sometimes read that the chemicals which make up a human body are worth on the open market only 97 cents or $10 or some number like that. And it's depressing to find our bodies valued at so little. But these estimates are for humans reduced to our simplest possible components. What is all this stuff in front of me? These are exactly the atoms that make up the human body and in the right proportions too. We're made mostly of water and that costs almost nothing. The carbon is counted as coal, the calcium in our bones is chalk, the nitrogen in our proteins is liquid air, the iron in our blood is rusty nails, some phosphorus and some trace elements. If we didn't know better, we might be tempted to take all these atoms and mix them together in a container, like this. And stir. We could stir all we want, and at the end of it, all we'd have is some boring mixture of atoms. How could we have expected anything else? The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together, information distilled over four billion years of biological evolution. Incidentally, all the organisms on the Earth are made essentially of that stuff. An eyedropper full of that liquid could be used to make a caterpillar or a petunia, if only we knew how to put the components together. All life on Earth is made from the same mixture of the same atoms. <laughs>